Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today I will show you how to show uh, grid view in jQuery model pop up. So uh, to do this task, first of all, add a web form. <coughs> web form basically used to, to uh, display the uh, uh, controls on web uh, browsers. So uh, by using um, a division tag we can do this task actually uh, in the jquery uh, we have a dialog method through which we can show uh, a division as a model pop-up okay uh, model pop-up actually behaves like a pop-up uh, when we click on any uh, button or you can say link button a single uh, divisions which having width and height and looking like a box appear on a screen so design this task first of all design a grid view uh, with some columns uh, columns bind with the database table so here we have a columns that is uh, ASP data bound fields data fields and header fields header text fields okay in this video tutorials uh, only i will show you how to bind the uh, grid view with the database table in the next video tutorials i will show you how to show a grid view on model paper so um, you can see that uh, here we have a uh, grid view with the data um, text field and the header text field and the data field and the server explorer we have a um, connection string that is connection string tier is the name of the connection string um, in which we have a uh, four parameters like the data source name uh, you can say the server name database name and uh, integrated security user etc etc uh, but the actual things is server explorer show the tables which is inside in mm, database table uh, database sorry uh, so explore the tables that is user tables in the user tables we have four columns that is id username password and email okay in the data field match with the column name of the table but header text text is not match with it's not necessary to match with the table name okay so here we have a data field that is id is match with the table name that is id and username passwords similarly email but you can see that uh, your header text is not match with the uh, table column so um, please remember these two things that is data field is matched with the column name of the uh, database table and that header text that is user defined okay now add a division with the id and the style in the styles we can display we can show uh, the division is dis uh, division of the display is none so display of the division is none so by default the grid view is not shown on your screen but when we click on any button um, that is uh, add just after the division the grid view show in a model pop-up okay uh, <coughs> sorry So first of all, get the ID of the button by using the uh, dollar sign in jQuery. jQuery single quotation hash, sorry, you can use the double quotation also, hash button one dot click uh, through which we can handle the click event. Okay. But uh, your intelligence is not working in this condition. 
so first of all add these uh, files into your header section that is jQuery um, libraries add this yeah you have is uh, code.jquery.com ui 1.11.4 themes that is css file and two files are related to js that is javascript so you can do start the jquery by using the document dot ready function that is uh, the page load you can say um, uh, or you can also use the dollar sign similarly function get the button by using the dollar sign similarly uh, uh, done in previous time okay You can see uh, get the ID of the uh, division that is pop-up div and hand uh, use the dialog method in the dialog method we can pass a number of statements uh, as a dialog message so here we use a type of array through which we can show the title width height and the buttons you can say the title of the model pop-up is show model pop-up assign the width is 300 pixel height is 300 also model is true it means the model is uh, or you can say the division is shown on the screen and the button which holds true as well as false value so in the buttons we can call the clause function clause all on this uh, column function dollar sign this is recommended to uh, dialog dot dialog class here we have it this is referred to the pop-up division the dialog through which we can clause dialog okay that's fine it's uh, very familiar code with the developer now in the code behind file we can bind simple grid view okay if not equals to page dot pause back then bind the grid view with the database table it's a simple query not equals to page dot is pause back then bind the grid view so write the query for binding the grid view here uh, that is simply you can use SQL, SQL connection SQL command data reader and data adapters and many more things which is given in the code which is driven by me so please check and see the second video tutorials for the output so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials uh, through all those video tutorials you can learn many more things so thank you thank you very much